Okay, we're ready to burn now. We have filled our tank up. We can see the light is green. And this is to drain the tank when you want to drain the tank and then you hit the off button. And then incidentally when you shut down the machine, you want to type in AUX comma 55 and that shuts the pumps down after the end of the day when you're done. You type it in at the command prompt. AUX comma 55, enter and then hit the execute button. It'll shut the pumps down. So we are now ready to go menu, machine, cut. Remember our 5R20 program we edited. It's ready to go. We can, uh, says we're ready to cut. It tells us our X, Y, or zero. We're starting at Z.1 above the part. And we can actually hit the go button now. And it changes to the parameters. So we, I typically change to the parameter screen here. Uh, generator screen, rather. And then in the background, you can have the position if you want. And it'll show you where it is and uh, how it's doing with the burning. So we're actually burning now. We'll turn on some flushing. And we like to actually move this position of the cursor from the electrode over to the B and type, just so you, if you need to cut the power back when you're burning, you can. You can manually do that, but when it's zero, it will automatically um, adjust. So we hit the uh, cursor key and move it down. We go all the way to the B and then we're ready to go adjust it when we need to. We can go over here, we can turn on some flushing. We're just splash flushing this one right now. Be careful there on that. We have a vacuum right here that will suck up the fumes. There's also a extinguisher that you can turn on at night if you wanted to burn at night. You just have to be aware that the machine can actually uh, shut off once it's, it blows the, uh, once the fusible link is there. But uh, make sure that you have at least two inches of dielectric oil over the part if you're going to be burning at night and get used to doing it that way.